What's going on, everybody? A little bit of a different sub type of a submission reveal. We got Gem Mint grading GMG back. And just real quick, I know you guys probably know that yesterday, because this is actually a yeah Wednesday video. I, I was trying to think because I've been off for a while from work. Yesterday, Beckett shut down all their services, except for like the, I think it's like premium or super premium. It's like the $250 one. All right, here. Let's take a look here. These, this here is my stack that I submitted to GMG. They also gave me a giveaway for this video, which is pretty cool, too. So we'll get the giveaway at the end. All righty here. Oh, I don't need anything. That's right. Starting off, this is from this year's score, Trey Lance. Now, we knew these being in thick packs, we're going to have bad corners on this, and it's just always something with it. But surface on this one, too, 8.5, Trey Lance, hot rookies. And these will be in the store by the time this video is out to you all. Another Trey Lance, 8.5. I, I was getting scared. I ain't going to lie, everybody. Overall, I, I like the label. It matches the background of the card and everything. I just let them use their own imagination with what they want to do for labeling onto this. So, pretty cool overall, though. Let me flip these the way so I know where I'm at. Up next, Trevor Lawrence, 9-5. So if you guys notice, a lot of corner issues on score, and that was a hobby box that I got. So, be careful out there with your score. Them corners... Very, very touchy on the thick stuff. Pretty cool on that. Up next, Nico Horner, rookie, 9-5. Get that up close so you guys can see it. And this is the new, just so you guys know, this, this is the original label that they had here to the left, the Giannis. So, remember he said he was going to do the changes on these. There we go. And they made this bigger. Now, there's a new label that they just came out with to separate it even more. So, I'll show that here in a second. But, let's get back to this. Nico Horner, 9.5. Jacob Eason times 2. Same exact grades across the board. 9.5s. Nine, 9 on edges, which I was kind of wondering on to be an absolute. So, this was really good to know. Um, this, I knew going in. The edges were... Kind of cut strange with absolute, and this just proved my theory on to it. Now this one here did quad nine five Jalen Hurts. Really nice. Uh, I'm enjoying the labels on these and everything. I mean the eagle in the background. That's kind of cool. I'm kind of starting to dig the uh, the color labels and the graphics and all that stuff. Now this here, we all know that upper deck canvases like get super high grades, and this just confirms that nothing different with the computer intelligence at all. I mean, normally you'll see a lot of these in tens. This is Austin Matthews canvas from uh, this year's upper deck series one. Knock oh, something over. I don't know what. All right. Up next, Herbert. This year's score, second year, nine five. Happy with that, with the Herbert. Gave him one of the hoops from this year. Did well, actually, on this hoops. Obi Toppin. If you guys remember when I opened this up, I said the Toppin was probably in the best shape out of all the rookie cards that I got in. So, Obi Toppin did go flopping, but just in case he doesn't flop anymore, we got one of them. Up next, Bowman Chrome Torkelson. Nine five nine five nine five ten. Well, I'm really like it, and I like these cases. I know a lot of people don't like the, uh, I call it the shadow effect around to it, but I don't know. It just they hold well in my hand. That's the only reason why I like it. Plus, it's not. If you guys ever notice, like SGC stuff's a little bit, you know, longer. This like width ways, and I can't fit it in my traveling case because of that. All right, now we get into some cool stuff. Luis Arez, Tops rookie, or Future Stars, my bad. Future Stars, send it the whole way across. Really, really cool.
Adley Rushman, Sapphire from draft this year or last year, 2020 draft. There we go. 10, 9, 5, 10, 10. Did well. I mean, the centering was justified on this when I sent it in. I'm really happy onto it. I mean, it was just off a hair tour, it gave it a 9, 5, and it was top to bottom, basically. I'm pretty sure onto it. So I'm getting a better understanding of how this stuff works with the computer intelligence and trying to dig it in a way. Yolbert Sanchez, Bowman Draft. First Bowman, if it'll focus here. All 10. This is the Aqua Shimmer. It should be numbered out of, maybe not. Oh, it is out of 125. So pretty cool. Casey ever does anything. We got something. We got something on them. And finally, I pulled this out of one of those absolute, um, I guess they call them fat pack boxes. And this is Jake Fromm. This is numbered out of 199. And it tend to cross the board. This was the best absolute card I had, sadly. <laughs> but if Jake Fromm ever, ever goes out there and does something, we got something on him. Oh, I forgot it's numbered up here. They put the card numbers up there. But pretty cool overall. So that was my submission in. Most, I think there might be one or two cards I might be holding out of this. But uh, other than that, it's going to be in the store. Now. I'm going to show you guys these new labels here. This is what they came up with a new design. So instead of having your... Your two by twos, they went all across the bottom with them. And if it'll, so there we go. So that's your new labels there. Let me know what you guys think of the, the new label with the Blaze Jordan. That's what they were going with. And that goes right into the giveaway, everybody. So this is uh, card number one for the giveaway, Blaze Jordan. And that's something that's inside the plastic right there. So don't worry about that. Next, another Blaze Jordan paper. There we go. As a 9.5 on centering, tended the rest of the way across. Pretty cool. And then finally, one last place, Jordan. This is a 9.5. Had two 9.5s, two 10s, just like you'd expect to see with anybody else. It would come out to be a 9.5. So, let's talk about this giveaway here. And I'm going to get this piece of plastic out of here as I talk because it's bugging me. It's bugging me, bugging me, bugging me. There we go. And I'll put these in the tighter sleeves that I got too, guys. So giveaway for this video. Time starts when this thing's released. You guys have until Saturday, June 5th at 1 p.m. Eastern to enter for the giveaway. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, and make a comment saying you want to be entered into the giveaway. I need to know that you want to be in the giveaway for because I know there's some people who don't want to be in the giveaways. So as long as if you're making comments and stuff like that, you, that way you don't have to put, I don't want to be part of the giveaway, don't worry. Just put down, you know, I like the new labels, enter me in giveaway. So first place, you're going to get the top card, which is the Bowman Chrome uh, Blaze Jordan Quad 10s. Second place, you'll get the paper. 10 Jordan. Third place, you'll get the Futurist 9.5. So again, it'll all be in the description. Giveaway starts now and Saturday, June 5th, 1 p.m. Eastern. And then I'll do a video with the uh, live stuff afterwards onto it. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the channel, like the video, and then make a comment saying you want to be entered in a giveaway. You can just say, I want to enter in a giveaway. I'm totally fine with that. It's just so I know you want to be part of the giveaway. And then first place gets this one. Then second place gets the paper. Third place gets the futurist. And I will do all the shipping on to it and everything. I appreciate uh, Jim McGraden, GMG, giving me some cards for the giveaway. That was outstanding of them. In no way did they ask to have anything known about their new labels. But if you guys have comments about these, put them in there. 
I know Eric will be going through here, reading the comments onto it. And if you guys have any other suggestions onto it, he, he listens. And they made the first changes really quick to where they uh, blew this up big time for us and shrunk the name down or made the, this all bigger and stuff up here. So this does look better than the original. I do like it better than the original. And this new way of having the grade straight across I like too because then you're able to take the font of the name and actually expand it more. So really cool. All right, everybody. That's it. Appreciate you watching the video. I'll be back with more videos throughout the week. Take care. And don't oh store, extremecarbreaks.com. It's always in the description. If you guys want to purchase anything, it's always there. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good one. I'll see you all later.